and welcome back here to another episode of Backstage TV with FETV. Uh, my name is Craig Johnson. I am part of the team here for Fest Events. And today we are going to be joined with Mike Bell, uh, one of our creative geniuses behind some of our elaborate sets and scenery. And he's a, a loved partner with us. And we are going to tour his warehouse today. So follow me inside and it's going to be a world of imagination, I promise you. What happens is just you know trying to be creative and this stuff starts building up and you have to have a lot of it when you do these huge festivals for right. for fest events especially because you do a festival and the thing you're setting up for a whole week and and no telling what Karen Sherberger is going to ask for and you know and, and things that happen at the last minute right uh, so start creating and we listen to the crew and things from fest events and see what they want and how we want to adjust this and how we want to take it on right. and it's just artwork that has to happen real quick it, right. it, you, it's not something that you can sit down and work on it for you know days years it's just get it done get it out there people take a picture of it and it comes back down it's up a day a week so you never know what's going to be asked of. You know, so each festival has parts and pieces that are here. A lot of people, I'm sure, have seen a lot of this stuff in, in the parks uh, and other events. Then, of course, you know, for Harbor Fest now, we have boats and wheels and, and uh, we also have the decorative things here. These things here, now, they're, they're really things that are fun, like uh, these lambs. Uh, are made out of like paper and and uh, wire and this is just cotton that's stuck to the end of it some things are waterproof some things are not uh, I don't think there's anything windproof <laughs> at all yeah at all Karen Sherberger got me one time to do 12 sculptures in two weeks and it was gigantic these things are like a six foot tall four by four and I did it. I couldn't believe it. No, like, yeah. Um, it, it really fun. Really fun. But uh, uh, keep yourself going. Of course, like this lady here, when you get into something, of course, like this, it you know, it's just painstaking, you know, work that, that to keep her going. Uh, she was carved out probably within probably two days, painted, and out in a week. So it, it goes rapid. They're lightweight. They're lightweight. But again, storms, they got metal bases, we strap them down, and of course the weather gets too bad, take her down, and it's out. What I, the way it sort of went is we were decorating a boat for the parade of sails, and Karen, and we saw Karen and about four of her crew standing up on this little mound over by the boat, and, and and one of the people that was working with her told me that Karen says, get their name, <laughs> get their name and let's see what we can do with them. And I want them. And it, that, it sort of started from there. Okay. Karen and I, we, we have, she's, she's so good where she comes out with these ideas and these thoughts and, and things. And it, it, it just, you know, we work together so good. Yeah, so good with, with what's going on and, you know, very open. I think one of the large was with the Jamestown mm -hmm. 400 anniversary, and we did enormous things there. Uh, uh, huge tents with walls and buildings, and and even got into town a little bit and got in historical houses, built wine fest uh, uh, sailors uh, sailors uh, down in in the basements and all. Uh, big arbors at, out through the yards and, and just amazing and then in between that there was seven tribes that were around in Jamestown at that time and they're <clears throat> still around and so the city got me to do some big they call them peace poles but they're totem pole type and they had ladies heads to them and and so I carved these like eight foot poles out of chainsaws and, and then the mayor gave those peace poles to each tribe 
of, of the that were left over from nice. Jamestown. So that that was huge. That was huge. And of course, we had the biggest storm of all Earth, and tents lifted up and things fell down. And Karen calls me in the middle of the night and says, "Mike, you gotta come fix it." It's like Karen, it's it's three o'clock in the morning. I cannot do anything until we, you know, see what's happening. So that morning we set up. And I think by 12 o'clock we were back in business. It, it was amazing. It was amazing. <music> So there you have it. That was another episode of Backstage Tours with Mike Bell. Uh, we look forward to working with him all the time. And make sure you check out our next episode of Backstage Tours, which is going to be coming very, very shortly. But thank you for tuning in. And this is FETV.